Hi, I am Prophetess Lorraine Daly Johnson. Greetings in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, the Son of the Living God. Today's message is called What Kicked This Off? And I would like to read some scriptures to you. Ephesians, the sixth chapter, and the twelfth verse says, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. I also would like to read to you Romans, the first chapter, the 26 through the 28 verse, and it says, For this cause God gave them up unto vile affections, for even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature, and likewise also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burned in their lusts one towards another, men with men, working that which is unseemly, and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error which was meet. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient. And also Jude, the first chapter in the seven verse says, Even as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities about them in like manner, giving themselves over to fornication and going after strange flesh, are set forth for an example, suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. Now, we are living in the last days, and the world is full of evil. You see, corruption is everywhere, and sin is on the rise. But, in spite of those things, the enemy was only able to do so much until an abomination happened in the land. And this abomination kicked something terrible off. And when this abomination happened, I knew, I knew something bad was going to happen, but I didn't know what. But now I know. You see, abominations can cause the wrath or anger of God and can bring on the punishment or damnation of a cashless society, viruses, masks to be worn, empty store shelves, business closings, job losses, and so much more. And although it may not seem like there is a connection. If you think for one moment that you can make an abomination the law and get away with it, then you really need to think again because an abomination to God can kick off God's anger. You see, the enemy knows how to bring in the end time events, but he also knows that God protects and has mercy on mankind. Therefore, he must do something. The enemy must do what it takes to anger the Lord, and it is by putting an abomination into law so that he can kick off the cashless society, the mark of the beast, a major virus, the apocalypse, major wars, forced vaccinations, and disasters all over the world. And some abominations that can bring on these things are same-sex marriage laws, the mark of the beast laws, or any law legalizing sin or wickedness. You see, when you have unrighteous laws, accepted in the land. Psalms, the seventh chapter and 11 verse says, God judges the righteous and God is angry with the wicked every day. So 
Seeing that God is angry with the wicked every day, we shouldn't live in wickedness. Neither should we cause God's anger to be kindled against us by supporting or making abominable laws legal. Because when the enemy sees that the people have failed for his intentional abominable laws and has yielded to temptation by sinning and has transgressed God's law and is now living for the enemy, the enemy can kill, steal, and destroy. So don't fall for or participate or accept abominable laws because they bring much sorrow. But always pray and advocate for righteous laws because they bring God's protection and blessings. I am Prophetess Lorraine Daly Johnson. Thanks. Thanks for listening.